All right, what's up? I hope you're doing well. My name is Ursh, and today I've got a video for you on pillars of righteous manliness. Uh, again, I'm still trying to fix the audio issue. I do not know if it's better or not, but uh, we'll see at the end of the video. So yeah, last video was about righteous foundations, and I hinted at the next video with the righteous, uh, the righteous uh, pillars to masculinity. And here they are. So let's get straight into this video. And as you can see, manhood is made of three pillars, health, health, wealth, and relationships. And these three together make a man masculine, strong, fulfilled, and successful. So that means if you have these three things in order, you've, as I said, in the last video, you've basically mastered life. And you're doing very, very well on in terms of like, on your time on this earth and i think i don't really have to explain these that much because health is basically your mental and physical health wealth and relationships i think are pretty self-explanatory wealth is how much money you have and relationships yeah but i want to differentiate between health and wealth and relationships because health alone is the only one that is completely dependent on you you make the decisions that go into your wealth in your health, sorry, because you have to change your lifestyle, you have to go to the gym, go and get some food, or cook something, something in those lines is definitely your responsibility. And health can be changed by anyone for the better or for the worse. However, wealth and relationships are both two things that are dependent on other people. Because you either have to work for someone or you are offering people that uh, to buy your things or your services in wealth and for relationships. I don't think I have to say much that uh, having a relationship with only yourself and no other people is going to be pretty detrimental. But yeah, this does not mean that you cannot take responsibility for any of these things, because at the end of the day, taking responsibility is the only way to grow. And if you just shift the responsibility for, oh, but this was out of my reach and I can do it. Yeah, okay, but that, that gives you no room to grow. So you have to take responsibility for any of the area, for any of the areas, whether it was in your control with health, for example, or wealth and relationships where it was maybe out of your control. But it is still very, very important to keep this in mind. So with that, let us keep let us continue with this sentence right here and without any of the with one of these missing you will have something big in your life that really needs some fixing let's go over the three scenarios which can transpire if you have health and wealth but are alone without friends and family then honestly what is it worth like imagine being completely alone completely lonely and not being able to share the joy and happiness that you have with health and wealth with anybody and that is the importance of relationships that goes doubly for family because family is something that you either found or something that you're born with and those people are usually at least i hope so very very close to you and family is extremely important so yeah if you have health and relationships but no wealth you're not able to pro provide and you're basically a coward and weak, honestly, because your family is not going to take you seriously, other people are not going to take you seriously, and then your life is probably going to fall apart. And this is probably one of the biggest things <laughs> that many people are afraid of, having no wealth. And uh, yeah, I can understand why. But wealth is only a third of the equation, because we've got health, and we've got relationships as well. And what happens if you have no health? You are in a constant, imagine you are in a constant state of burnout and are unhealthy with deteriorating health and you will not be able to enjoy your wealth and relationships. If your health is not good, then you will not be able to enjoy anything that is even remotely good in your life. Imagine if you're one of those overweight people who are like 150 kilograms or something. I do not know how much that is in pounds. I'm sorry about that. But... That has got to be a really miserable life. And no matter how much material or any other success you have, your health is not going to be 
your your health is not going to make anything better if it's horrible. So yeah, the importance cannot be understated. And each of these three has to work together. Because if one of these isn't working for you, then there are going to be some big complications now or later down the line. And this is where many people fail. These people, not these people, but many people have problems with either one of these. One of them fails and then their whole life just goes to shit. They have a breakup, for example, in their relationships and that pillar just completely crumbles in. You are basically left with nothing. Even if you have health and wealth, <laughs> that relationship gap is really going to cause you some damage. Same for if your, I don't know, your company went bankrupt or you got stage four cancer in the matter of a few months. It's very important. There's, I know those are exp extreme examples, but it's very important that you have a com at least a pretty good balance in between these. Because if you don't, then things are going to get pretty bad. So these are very, very, very vital. And then we move on to the foundation again. I have made a video on this, as you can see. If you want to know more, look at my last video on righteous foundations. Righteous foundations are the most important thing when building these things. We'll get to that in the actionable steps in a moment. But if you have a very good foundation already, then congratulations, you can start building very, very well. And what is a righteous foundation? Well, I've covered that in the other video, but very shortly, building on biblical principles and not doing this for ego and status. And yeah, I'm going to be the top G and you know what I mean. All the red pill stuff that's being encouraged, for example, that's completely unrighteous. And that's self-righteous and self-sufficient and not righteous in the eyes of God. And just isn't right. That's uh, that's the main thing. Because even though it might be very cool and you might have all the status and it's really great, it's all going to crumble one day. And that crumbling is going to come up for, uh, sooner than later. And this is why you really need to follow the righteousness in the eyes of the Bible and in the eyes of God. Because if you don't, you are not going to last very long. And when you fall from that place, you will have to start from the ground up again with, with having learned the lesson, mind you. But imagine if you just took this advice, went with righteous foundations and built and didn't waste months or years. And that's why it's very vital. And now we get to the actionable steps. This video is actually going a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, anyway, the actionable steps are that you need to learn, learn and educate yourself. Because once you start, once you have that righteous foundation down, you're good to go. But the thing is, you can, as I said, you can't jump straight into things without knowing what you're doing or you will most likely fail miserably. As I said, no offense, I'm speaking from experience because I tried to get into wealth and making money and because everyone's going about this in the self-improvement space and they're like, yeah, go make money, go and do your stuff. And if you have no idea what you're doing, you're probably going to fail, okay? Same goes for health, same goes for relationships. You can start eating completely horrible food even, even though you think it's good. Because somebody on the internet just told you, yeah, you know, this is actually pretty good. But turns out it's their own product and they're just trying to make money. So you'd really, really have to look out who you take the advice from, even from me. Because I do not know everything either. I'm trying my best, but I could, in theory and in practice, probably be spreading really bad information. I doubt it in this video, for example, but if you look at my past videos, for example, some of them are a little bit questionable, <laughs> That's just to say the least. But this is the biggest hallmark right here. Learn and educate yourself, whether that be through learning through experience, which is probably the slowest way to get it, go about it, but also the best if you learn the lessons. You can also just learn from other people. You can learn from videos. The internet is very expansive and it is very important to learn. We'll get to that in a little bit more. But 
for those associating something negative with learning. This is not for school or that thing that you associate with learning usually. This is learning for your future self. This is learning skills that will come in handy later, maybe when you're founding your, your family and you're learning skills that will be useful maybe later on, maybe now, who knows? Because many of the things that you actually have to learn are up here and not something that you like have to go and do. Like, I don't know, you don't have to build something or found that business in two years. No, but you really need to learn skills and educate yourself on what to do and how to do it righteously. And yeah, that is the best thing that I can tell you right now. Get educated. If you're as young as me, I'm 17 then this is your this is basically your prime time to get educated. You can have fun, you can do your thing, but you should also put some time aside for learning because learning will get you very, very far if you learn from the right sources. And while I cannot do the learning for you, I can give you sources to start with, which I trust and which I have benefited from massively. And whether these will do the same for you, I do not know. I trust these sources and they are amazing in my opinion. So let's get right to them here. We've got health, wealth, relationships, and righteousness, which is also a very good thing. Because this, this is for building the foundation, and these are the other things which are topic of this video. So health, Alex Federsky. This guy, I'll not open each channel individually, but Alex basically takes care of righteousness. So does Christian, and so does Robert. Righteousness is very, very important. And righteousness paired with health is Alex's domain, to say, <laughs> to say it like that. But basically, he does a lot of good content, in my opinion. I've taken some of his health tips and uh, principles, and in my opinion, they work very, very well. And I still have a long way to go, but learning about the things that he says in his videos are very, very good. So I highly recommend you to check him out if you're wanting to get more into health in terms of lifestyle, in terms of nutrition, and in terms of training. Those three things are very, very good in what he says. And basically everything he says is good. But those are the things that I uh, went, to, went to him for. There you go. Then we have Wealth with Alex Hermosi. I think you've heard of him. He's uh, pretty well known, but uh, I have... Got to say it right now, I have not taken any of his advice yet because I do not have a company, I do not have things that I'm building as of yet. But from the things that I've seen from him, it all seems to make sense. I've read his first book, I believe 100 million lead? no, well, leads is the second one, offers. And uh, I thought it was pretty good, but I have not used any of the things myself. So take this with a grain of salt. I do not know if it works. It probably should though because he seems like he seems like a pretty genuine guy. This is the things that I'm most ex inexperienced in, so take it, take that as you will, okay? <laughs> then we have relationships. This is basically the same as Alex, righteousness paired with relationships. And relationships are a much much bigger thing than I initially in, uh, thought of. But uh, he teaches very th very good things about biblical marriage and relationships and all of this stuff. Very good content, very valuable, and I have a lot of respect for this guy because he has got some really good content. And last but not least, for none of the pillars in particular, although I think you could profit in all of these three, and of course, due to building a righteous foundation, you will have benefits in all three, indirectly or directly. Robert Breaker. He basically just goes over the Bible, gathers teachings and how to be righteous. Because if you study his videos and if you study what he says, you will have very good benefits in terms of righteousness. And I think this is the way to go if you really want to get into the righteousness game. Not really game, but righteousness is probably the only real way to go, in my opinion. But uh, that aside, this is basically it for the video i've got all of their channels in the word document you just have to here control and click to follow the link and uh, yeah you'll find their channels you'll find their content and i really hope that you could learn something from this video and if you've learned something then 
this should be the thing. This should really be the thing. Learn and educate yourself on health, wealth, relationships on a righteous foundation. That's the whole video in one sentence if I can really compromise it that much. But yeah, this is basically it for the video. Excuse my voice. It's a little, I'm a little bit sick. So <laughs> yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you and your families and see you next time.